The most recent common ancestor tool on GEDmatch is great at combining DNA with family trees in order to identify how you might be related to a certain match. In a previous video, I showed the basics about using this tool. One of the questions that came up repeatedly was the score and how that score was created and know that. Now the score is between one and 10 and it's an indication of how likely these two people are the same people. One being not very likely and 10 being almost certainly the same person. In general, the criteria that are used in order to calculate the score are based on the person's name, the person's birth date and place, and the person's death date and place. And I surmise this simply because that's the information that's shown when you're comparing the two people together, as we'll see here. So let's go and let's take a look at the most recent common ancestor tool, again, just to get us familiar with it. Now it's still calculating some of this, but you can see here that I've put in my grandfather and it's gone through and it's found some people that are over here off screen that have similar people in their list. Now, some of these you can see, hey, just looking at the names, looks like the names are the same. Others, hey, the John William Justice versus a John T. Justice, maybe. We got a William Gordon and a William Jackson Gordon. But then other names are the same, maybe with a little bit different spelling. The score is on the far right hand side. And you can see here on my list, it varies between about two and eight. I don't have any nines or tens. I don't have any ones. So I thought what we would do is we would go through the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and see if we can't calculate our own score that matches their score based on the name and the date and place. So let's start with a score of two. Here I have a Sarah Ford Lowell and a Sarah Betty Lowe. They have a match score of two. So starting with the name, Sarah, I'm gonna get, say is one point for that because the Sarah is right. But then I look at the Betty and Lowe and the Ford and Lowell. The Lowell and the Lowe are somewhat similar. I would just give that a half a point. And then we go to the birth date. This is 1721, but there's no year here at all. So there can't be any points given for the birth year because there's, there's nothing there. Um, death date, same thing. There is nothing there. And so we look at the place. This is Talbot, Maryland, Worcester, Maryland. And we've got a Somerset, Pennsylvania, Woodford Pike, Kentucky. So the smaller place names, in other words, the more accurate place names aren't, but they all happen to be in the United States. So I'd give that a half for that United States and a half for that. In other words, I come up with a score of two and a half. Let's take a look at match score three and see if we come up with the same kind of scoring system. We've got a James Lewis and a James Lewis. Well, to me, that's a score, one for James and one for Lewis. It's, it's like the same name there. And then we have the dates. I have a 6th of September, 1767, 1772. So five years off, maybe in the same range. I'm going to give a half a point for the birth date. We've got 1860 and 1855. 10th of January, Ooh, a 10th of July. So we got the day the same, but the month different. Five years apart again. I'm also going to give a half a point for that because it's close, similar, not the same. What about the place? Well, Marion, Marion, South Carolina, and then United States, I'm assuming. And Granville, colony of North Carolina, Green Township, Platte, Missouri, Fairmont, Robinson, North Carolina. They've got the United States again. Um, and that's about the only thing that's similar here. So I'm going to give them a half a point for that. And that adds up to one, two, three, four. So I judge this as a match score of four, but Jed matches using a match score of three. So we can see that the criteria that I'm using in my head probably aren't 
exactly accurate. Let's go to the next one, a match score of four. This is a different James Lewis on one side. So here we have James Lewis in North Carolina as opposed to James Lewis in North Carolina before it was in South Carolina. The name being the same, I'm going to give two points for that. And I really, I guess I only need to do this on one side. 6th of September, 1767. 6th of September, 1767. Oh, that's a perfect date. I'm going to give one point for that perfect date. 10th of July, 1860. 10th of July, 1860. That's a perfect score for that date. And then we have the place. Well, we do have North Carolina, United States. And this is North Carolina in British colonial America, which it's what it was at the time. Green Township. And this is Green City in Platte, Missouri. So the places are really very similar. They've just listed the these, these specific place differently. The way I would grade this is I'd give a half a point for this birthplace and I'd give a full point for this uh, death place, which, you know, this would give this a score of one, two, three, four, five and a half, which is, is clearly not what they've come up with. So five and a half versus four. But remember here, we've got a perfect match on the two dates there. And we've got a perfect match on the name and the spelling. So if I were just giving four points there, then that would be saying that none of this place stuff, because it doesn't match, gets any points at all. Um, which is problematic for me because there's some parts of it that do match. If I just go and go forward and let me say that, hey, it's got to be a perfect match. Maybe they don't do halves at all. Maybe this is just all or nothing. So we've got Jane May. This is a five score. And I'm going to give one for the first and last name. Birth date, 1703, 1703. I'm going to give a score there of a one. Um, birthplace, County Donegal, Ireland, Donegal, Ireland. In this case, I'm going to say that's a one as well. Next is the birth date or the death date. They have 1751 versus 1749. Because that's different and because it doesn't look like there's any halves awarded for close things, I'm going to say that that is a no score. But this is in Augusta, Virginia, USA. Augusta, Virginia. They have Hampshire. They have the county in there. I'm going to give that a one. Now, using this new scoring method, I get a score of five, which matches what they have. So let's keep on with this as we go to a score of six. Heather Graham, or no, sorry, Heather Graham, Elizabeth Graham. So we've got one point for the first name, one point for the last name. 13th of June, 1785, that's a point because it matches exactly. 13th of August, 1869, that's a point because it matches. And then we go into the place. Menard, Randolph, Illinois, Caswell, North Carolina, that is a no match. And then we have Tallulah, Menard, Illinois, Tallulah, Menard, Illinois. Uh, that's a point, I would say. Except now, I come up with just five points out of six. So there's still something, something different here. And I'm not sure what is going on. Let's go to our number eight. <clears throat> number eight, we've got Carl Bryant Lee. And I said I'm going to give a point for the first and last name. I'm not going to do the middle name. 7th October, 1884. Yep. Watsonville, Santa Cruz, California. Yep. 14th of February, 1970. Yep. Fresno, Fresno, California, United States. Yep. So again, we get a score of six. But here's the thing about this one. Everything was exact. So if I did an extra place name of one here and one here, I can get to a score of eight. Eight. What I can say is that, yes, they're using the name, they're using the dates, they're using the places. How they're using each one of those, I don't know. In general, though, if you have a score of four or more, it's probably that same person. If we're looking at some of these, the fours, fives, sixes, and sevens, 
and eights, those look like the same people. It is when we get down to the threes and the twos that we don't have the same people really being represented right here. If you'd like to learn about the most recent common ancestor tool in general, watch this video up here. But if you'd like to learn something more, then watch this video down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel 